All right, guys, I've been looking around on the internet, noticed uh, some people are asking about how to mount to the F450. Uh, there's plenty of options. I just figured I'd give you one, uh, one easy one as I haven't seen any videos on it yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here. If we notice right here is our top mounting plate for the three axis gimbal, the H33D. Uh, the motor comes up just a little bit higher than that uh, top mounting plate does. So whenever you try to mount to the frame of your F450 here, that motor will come in contact and uh, if you tighten it down it's just going to render that motor useless. So I've attached these four little red pegs that you see here. Uh, they have a screw on the top and bottom of each one and what that's going to do is it's going to give me a little bit of clearance. Now one thing I would like to mention though is the front and the back uh, mounting holes on the gimbal are not the same. They're not the same width apart. So the two front ones are a little bit wider than the two back ones. Uh, what I've done, the two back ones will screw directly into place. Let's get the focus here. The two back ones will screw directly into place right there in the slots for the F450 frame. So let me go ahead and zoom out some. And the two front ones are wider than the slots are. So what I've done here is I've just went ahead and I've attached a zip tie as you can see here. I've attached the zip tie to the uh, to the gimbal and the F450 itself, and I've kept the two pegs uh, mounted onto the uh, gimbal mounting plate, but they're not screwed into the F450. I'm using the zip ties for the support, and so far it seems to be working all right. So you guys uh, might have a hard time finding these pegs. They are located on our website. But you can actually uh, use a lot of different things, even if you just go to your local hardware store. Uh, you can find cabinet brackets, uh, just little flat metal pieces that you might need to stack one or two on top of each other in order to give yourself that uh, clearance you need. But uh, very simple to do and very easy fix. So if you, uh, if you can't find a mount anywhere near you or you don't want to wait in time for the actual uh, mount that DJI has made for this. You can just go ahead and do it on your own and do a little bit of DIY. So that's it for this. I'll go ahead and add a video on to it to let you know, uh, let you see how it flies. Uh, afterwards, whenever you go to, after you mount your gimbal, you may notice that uh, you get some vibrations. Um, it's not the fault of the gimbal. You might have to go in and adjust your PID settings once you add a little more weight to your Phantom here. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the video of a flying.